So we'll be calling you a radical of the Great Pacific Games for Kevin Blanche's incredible PhD. Let's get to it. So this is the, it used to be hypothesis. It's not hypothesis. This, what is this? This is the Columbia River still at campus. The red is this year's. The blue is last year's. That's the 10 year mean. The 10 mean has been devastated because they go to sea for one year. You know, they can go twice and they begin to collapse immediately in 2011. Now, stay with me. This is historic, important stuff. The nuclear disaster right here, Fukushima, Japan, Kevin Blanche. This is full blown out meltdowns. They're lying, they're lying. They're going to push water on it, push in. They've been pushing all the time. It's going to get in the Japanese current. It's going to come here to the California current. It's going to devastate. The, it's going to be the Great Pacific Genocide. It's going to cause a heat bubble over the Western United States. The Great Western Drought, as Kevin Blanche named it, the Great Western North American Drought, Kevin Blanche named it in 2011, 2012. That's when it started. It's going to cause a gas, a vapor, to be pushed into the ocean. Storms are going to rise up. It's going to cause a heat bubble. It's going to get into the trees. The trees are going to cause fires. I named it Fructonium. The typos will collapse first. Then the salmon will go. The gray wells will go. Big fish eat little fish. It's going to cause mutations. It's going to cause, she's going to come after the people. Hmm. What about this pandemic? So, anyway, everything that I hypothesized. And this is the smoking gun. <laughs> Full blown out nuclear meltdown. It's pushed in. It took Kevin Blanche a year and a half to convince anybody it was one meltdown. The only person talking about it. Not coincidence. Coincidence doesn't get it in science. So stay with me. Here's the data. It's not hypothesis anymore. You have 10 years of data. This is why we're using the Bonneville. Because the drainage on the Bonneville goes clear into Canada. It's the biggest, by far, 400 tributaries come into it. And we use very good sonar with County. And Kevin Blanche has held on the FW and his feet to the fire at Oregon. Well, they report it. The Army Corps Engineers classified me, by the way. So they count it. So let's get to this data right now. Okay, so you can do this on your own. This is their site, which is very good now. Let's go to annual totals. Okay, let's start with the stillhead. Uh, let's get to 2010. They were before the disaster. Let's go to See how many years they'll pull on this thing. Um, let's go to Stillhead. You can do this on your own. I'll give you the link. Here we go. 416,000 in 2010. Immediately started up. They go to see one to two years. This happened March 11th. These fish run in September for the most part. The big run is mostly in September. August started to devastate them immediately. As you can see, now remember, this is with full blown out gill netting and flu fishing. These are big returns, so they were gill netting in front of the dam. Now I verified this through ODFW. They gill netted well over 400,000 fish and caught and kept, caught and kept over and gill netting together in front of the dam. This is the number at the dam. Before the dam, well over 400,000. So you can double that number. That number, and I've verified this through OFW. You can do it yourself. It's 800,000. 826,000 is the number. That's the number. It's an arguable fact. So we'll use the after the dam number, which is skewed by double because they quit gill netting and fishing for the most part two years ago. Boom. 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 What? 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 77,000. Now let's go back to what the number is 77,000 from with. Now remember, absolutely no gill netting, hardly any fishing at all were taken out in front of the dam in 2019. So we go from 826,000 to 77,000. Well, let's stay here. Let's go back. Let's get to the graph. Hang in there with me. Okay. You can do this on your own. This is unarguable data. Now, well, I was hypothesized, get budget for it. 
Okay, so here, let's, sorry about that, let's get to the totals. Right here. Here we are for the year right now. We're at 57,793. And the season's pretty well over, as you can see. So we've gone from 826,000. Now remember, this is no gill netting, very, very little gill netting. Very little fishing in front. 57,000 from 800,000. Even if you use the post gill netting number, it's 400,000. We can do math, kids. Okay, let's move to the Chinook. Now, why are we going to move the Chinook now? Remember, they go to see one to two, one year. They can go twice. So, this is the unarguable proof of the Fukushima disaster. Okay, let's get to the Chinook. 420,000 to date with no gill netting, very, very, very little gill netting. They gill netted for uh, 10 days from what I understand this year. Last year, no gill netting. So let's get to the annual totals. Let's go to the graph first. No, let's, yeah, not graphing a mess, really, sorry. Let's get to the annual totals. What mess do I want? Okay. Bonneville. Okay, now why are we doing this? 2015. Now stay with me why this one doing 2015. We want all this data because this is the unargument proof of Fukushima. Stay with me. Now stay with me. Chinook salmon are born right here. The little fries come out. They live their whole lives here in the ocean. Their whole lives. Same with steelhead. They live in the ocean. It's not a pasture. It's the ocean. It's their home. Big fishy little fish. They come here to die and to be born. That's it. They don't live in rivers. They live here. They go to sea on average of five years. On average of five. They can go up to eight, but on average of five years. So the five-year number is giant. Now stay with me. This is important. This is historic. So we'll backtrack on this too. 2015, 1.337,000. That's with full-blown out gill netting. Full blown out fishing. I mean, they're Army Corps, they're grandstand, they're doing videos, record returns. So, with gill netting and fishing, and I've verified this, the Royal FW, 2.7 million. Modern day record in 2015. Everybody's laughing at Kevin Blanche because I'm going crazy all over the internet doing my PhD for God and everybody, see, because they captured PhDs. I'm, I've been transparent as you can possibly be, including with my leukemia. I'm like, no, 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 they'll collapse in 2016. 2015, do you see the number? That's with full blown out gill netting. It's an arguable fact. You can call them and talk to them yourself. They put their projections here after the gill netting at 1.7. I put mine at 680,000. It came at 690. Oh, Kevin Blanche got lucky. This year, they put their projections at 2.3 million post gill nets. This is at the dam. I put my projection at 480,000. Oh, once is luck, twice is skill. This year, I put my projection at 333,000. They put theirs at 2.7 million. This is when they started to freak out. Came in, they're like, this dude got it right exactly. Once is luck, twice is skill, three times in recorded history. So this is when they got panicked out. And they pulled the gill netting. You can cut that number in half. They pulled the gill nets in 2019. That number, you can cut it in half. No gill netting and no fishing. Very, very little fishing. Remember, if you use the gill netting, that's 2.7 million to 300,000. 2020, it got a little better because there was no, I mean, they, they had limited gill netting, very little. A little bomb? Not really because there was no gill netting. None. So, now remember, they go to sea for five years. So we go from 2.7 million to 500,000. Well, let's go back on the annual total. By Tim Martin, who says that that's you can believe their number. <laughs> We're 420,000 right now. Let's go back to annual totals. Let's see if we can get a little further back on the Shitnook. See how far back they go. Let's get back into 2012, the year after the disaster. You can do this on your own. You know, I'll provide the link. Let's do the species. Okay. One 
1.2 million, 1.5 million, 1.3 million, and 420 million. I still had Oh. So, remember, it's important. Put this in symphony with Kevin Blanchett that title with the heat bubble of the western United States, with this acute radical collapse of the fires, of the mutations, of the sea life dying, the seals in 2014-15 starving at the anchovies and sardines are down 99%. You can look that up. It's an arguable fact. The collapse of the wells, 312 washed up dead just two years alone. Starved, that's just the ones we see. You can times that by 10. Not quite. So, you can laugh at Kevin Blanchett's work all you want. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. You know, you can attack me, you can do whatever you want, but unarguable. Unarguable. Dying at sea. And of course the ten year mean on this graph is very low because of what I just showed you. Ten years of numbers just declining. There's the ten year. This one's still head. There's last year's unbelievably low number. This is this year's. So. Dynasty. <laughs> Whoa. 57,000 from 800,000. Put that together with Kevin Blanche's type of work. My plutonium fires, my heat bubble. And I want to ask all the problem new from everybody. I just mystified mystified baffled, stumped, perplexed, bewildered, curious, alarmed. You're just going to hold that narrative. So you're telling me full blown out nuclear meltdowns push the energy they've been pushing water into the Pacific Ocean the entire time. We, the IEA did their press conference last month and said, and they were pressed on this in Vienna, which I've been there lots of times, and they said, well, let me be honest with you. We can't get near these cores. We have no idea what the cores are. We have no idea. We don't think anybody on Earth knows what they are. Because it's never happened. It didn't happen on my act. It didn't happen at Chernobyl. Chernobyl was one partial meltdown that 750,000 men entombed. These are full blown out meltdowns that the United States government made the decision to just go into cover up mode. You know, and three administrations later, still in cover up mode. So that's unarguable data. So I want to ask you all these so-called scientists, you PhDs, everybody that's uh, so you're telling me full blown out meltdowns, the basic fundamental foundation to all science, to all logic, to all philosophy, to all reason is for every action there's a reaction. So all, the all that you know is at an end. I'll bring you back. I'll bring you horror. So that you may rise above it. So that those of you who survive this reign of hell on earth will be worthy of God's love. Gabriel.